connect to the idea that you're about to give a great gift to the person that you're about to work with. And let it come from that intention, giving love to the person you're about to work with. Slowly begin to open your eyes. Just rub your hands together. Create some warmth, some friction in your hands. And then bring your hands apart and slowly just lower them down to the floor. Just making first contact. You can pour a little bit of weight. And on your next in-breath, hold on to both feet, lift them up. I like to rest the heels on my thighs and just kind of rock a little bit side to side. So you keep your arms straight. It takes the effort out of it. A lot of times if we're tense in our body, we'll transfer that tension to the person we're working with. So if you can find ways to be really lazy in your Thai massage, it'll feel better for them and for you. And you'll be more prone to give more Thai massage. All right, we'll take a breath in. And on the exhale, lower the feet and just pour your weight in your left hand, all or in your left arm, all the way down to the heel of your left hand, finding the arch of the foot. Inhale, come back to center. And on your exhale, pour the weight into your right arm. Inhaling back up. And exhale, move your left hand a little closer to the toes and then even roll the bones over each other. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, move the right hand up a little bit. Pour the weight. See if you can roll over the toes. Inhale, back up. And exhale. Moving with breath. Calming the arch of the foot. And I even like to turn my hands in a little bit and catch the calcaneus bone. It's a really strong bone. I used to say that, um, you know, it's a super strong bone and it's probably not possible that you'll hurt it, but Reno here was on his birthday was doing handstands on a statue and he fell and busted his calcaneus bone. <laughs> Catch the, their left foot with our right hand. Does this know what your right hand is? Does everyone know their right hand? Actually, we'll catch the other side. But we'll catch the right foot with your left hand. So that way I'll be able to look out at you guys. And we'll just bring it into the hand, keep your arms straight, and come up to a standing position. And we're just going to do a little walking up the leg. And so, what we're working for is bringing the ball of the toes onto the calf and letting the toes sort of rest on the tibia. And we'll inhale, we'll come back up. And then move your foot up a little closer to the knee. And pour the weight down more onto the calf. The toes, the notch of the toes is kind of the same shape as the shin bone. So you just kind of let your toes rest there, but bring the ball of the toes to the and it's always nice to watch the person that you're working on, too. So maybe take a look at their face, notice their breathing. And the body language usually will tell so much more than the person's mouth will tell you as far as how things are. People will be like, oh, that's great, but they'll be all tense in their face. So pay attention to their face and their body language. And then start working your way back up towards the knee. Make sure not to put pressure on the knee. Stop a little bit, like an inch or so below the knee. All right, and then from here, we 
You can use your left knee to get their right knee to bend. So you can kind of use it to get it to bend. And you can hold on to the heel like this, and now you're facing in towards the thigh. Use your right foot to just work the inner line of the thigh. The heel's on the ground, and the, the trajectory is sort of at an angle, right into the, right below the bone. And again, pay attention to the person you're working with. Notice their breath. And you'll make your way up a little bit below the hip crease. And then start making your way back down towards the knee. So if you think about it, time massage is a long, it's a learning process. It's not something that the first time you come to do it, you're going to be an expert. This is just a, this is the first stage in some of your guys' evolution of being time massage therapists. So be okay with not being perfect here. And then we'll start making our way back up. Towards the where the hip crease is at, and then you'll see if you guys look up here, there's the, the hip point. You guys see that? And then the pelvis, the bottom of the pelvis. There's the hip crease right here. We'll bring our foot the way that see how the arch kind of fits perfectly over the thigh. We'll bring that right to the hip crease, and this is going to be one of the first foot positions that we use when we do the flying. So just kind of. Take note of where your foot's at. And then you can even bring your arm, your hand onto your top of your thigh, above your knee, and just kind of pour the weight down. Moving slow, moving gently, paying attention to the person you're working on. You can even ask them, hey, is that pressure okay? Is it okay? More? Yeah, sometimes they want more. You want some more? And then you might even start to feel a pull from the femoral artery. That's sort of what we're going for. This is called a blood pump. And then we'll gently ease our way up. And they might feel a rush of blood shooting through their leg to simulate blood flow. Lift the leg straight up with your left arm, and then step over their leg. And just kind of give them some rocks. This is just kind of reset everything. Release the sacrum if any tension build up. back in between the legs, and then come into like a tree pose. Lift your left leg up. And then we'll catch the back of their leg with the foot, and just lower it down. So it goes up and out. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. From here, now my head's going to kind of turn away from you guys, so I'll have to look over my shoulder. So, um, I'll, I'll just move that way. All right, from here, catch their other leg. And step your uh, right foot right about in line with where the leg would be. And then use the ball of your foot to press up the calf muscle. And allow your toes to sort of rest, the knots behind your toes to sort of rest on the tibia. What we're working towards is stimulating there's an energy line that's sort of in the valley between the calf and the tibia. And the ball of the toe fits perfectly into this. And just start pouring your weight and walking down towards the right ankle. Just kind of move at whatever your weight is. Thinking of pouring the weight on your exhale. Another Buddha call. And when you 
get that back by the knee again. Just step your left foot in. Use your right knee to get them to bend with their left knee. And then you can hold the heel of the foot with your hand. And then bring the heel of your left foot on the ground and just pour your weight into the thigh. Affirmation that the pressure is okay. Especially when you're new, it's nice to get a little bit of vocalization. But like I said, the face will tell you a lot more than the mouth. Okay. Once you make your way back up by the by the pelvis and by the hip crease. We'll find the blood stop on the top of this foot. So remember, you can just kind of touch the hip bone with your big toe, and then bring the inside of your arch right in line with the hip crease. We'll take a breath in, and on the exhale, just sort of pour my weight down. You might even notice I'll take a little bit deeper breath it's a really grounding sensation to have these blood stops to find. Another thing to look out for, not just the wincing in the face with too much pressure, but you might see their eyeballs start to, start to roll around in the back of their head. That's a good sign. That's what you're doing. Couple more breaths here. Step over the right leg. So 
the idea here is to get the sacrum to lift up off the ground. And we'll just do little rocks. So you can use your left hand to just encourage the sacrum to rock side to side. Last year I was here and I was showing this and this guy, I, I think it was his wife, but he was doing this. <laughs> so I'm like, hey man, this isn't a recipe. Okay. <laughs> then you can lower the sacrum down. Yeah, if you're if you're a lot shorter than them and your legs down low, you can lift up your heel to come to bring your thigh a little higher. So you lift it up. Cool. All right. So now bring your hands like this. See how the palm of your hand right here is sort of indented, and it's like sort of the opposite of the top of the shoulder. See that? That's what we'll be working for. This is going to be the hand placement that we'll be using for the first couple of um, flying therapeutic moves that we come into. So we just bring this part right here just to fit perfectly onto the ball of the shoulder. And then we'll just kind of pour the weight and just rock. So we're massaging the shoulders, but we're also helping to release the lower back. That's another thing that I really love about Thai massage is that we're doing one movement, but we're doing so much for the person that we're working. And just be mindful of where your hand placement is here. Remember that, so that when we do the first couple of flying moves, you'll be set up for success. And then you can even palm your way down the biceps a little bit. Make sure not to put pressure on the elbow joints. Just come right above the elbow joint. You can use your whole body up here, walking your way up and down the arm. Trying to find straight lines. Get alignment in your body. And it's interesting that in yoga we talk alignment. In acrobatics, it's absolutely necessary to have good alignment. And in Thai massage as well. Good alignment. A lot of lessons to be learned from all three of these practices. Take your fingers like this, sort of like a C shape. We're going to use this to catch the top of your chest. And just lean back. We'll just do about three or four pulls back. Really nice release. You might get a moan or a groan. Or... This move right here is where I get my tip. Step your right foot in, bring your hips forward, you're holding onto the heel, just turn the toes in and lean back. So arms straight, see if you can turn the toes in to catch your glutes, and then you're leaning back to do the work. Not a lot of effort. In Thailand, the Thai massages are typically done by like 70 or 80 pound little Thai ladies, and they throw you all around. So, the way that they can do that is they know how to use leverage and they know how to use their body. So the less effort you can have, the better for you and the receiver. All right, so that's called the bullfight. This next move we're gonna do, we'll bring the legs out, use your knees back behind their knees to get them to bend. Okay. Just holding onto the heels, we'll just do a little rock side to side. This is a bus drive. <laughs> These are great moves that you can do after somebody bases you or after you've flown on somebody. You can do this to kind of help release their sacrum and their legs. We call this leg lift. And then we'll lift both legs straight up. Step back. Come into a squat and rest your forearms on your thighs. And then just get a little rock. Side to side. 
side. This is a great time to ask for a loan. Hey, can I have one, please? <laughs> Any other question you want to get? All right, then just kind of turn the toes in and out a few times, and then lower the feet down. And we'll do three brushes from the hips all the way down to the toes. So in Thailand, uh, the way that you say thank you is that if you're a man, you say kapun ka. So you say tap at the end. If you're a woman, you say kapun ka. So we're going to thank our partner in this traditional way, okay? Kapun ka. And we'll just come up and extend a hand. Sorry, you got to get up. 